No, where did you put my scissors? You crazy, crazy cat. Okay, we're gonna put this on hold. Hello, you little beans. Today I'm gonna be showing you how I made this hoop skirt for this petticoat. Don't worry, it may look a little intimidating at first, but it was actually fairly easy, just really time consuming. So yeah, thank you so much for clicking on this video and I hope you enjoy. So on this um, piece of fabric here, I just went ahead and don't do it. Oh, she did it, Rosie. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna have to talk with a cat tail in the way. I hope you guys don't mind. Basically right now I'm doing the waistband where I wanted to sit on my waist, I measured 33 inches, so I'm making it 34 inches long and 5 inches wide because I'm going to fold it over and I want um, a little bit of wriggle room for when I hem it and sew it close together. The fabric doesn't matter too much because, again, this is the hoop skirt and no one's going to really see it, um, but it still should be something sturdy, so I picked a thicker because this is going to be what's basically holding up your entire hoop skirt. <laughs> Alrighty, so here is the waistband um, almost all finished. Basically, I just sewed one side into a tube, turned it inside out so you couldn't see the seams, and then double folded it on each side here so it's a clean finish. Um, I would highly suggest ironing it because as you can see, it's quite still round at the moment, but my iron is somewhere in a box. From the move so I cannot do that at the moment but I will get to that so before you do anything else I suggest seeing if the waistband does fit around your waist nicely and that it sits where you want it to and now for each side um, to hold it together I went ahead and bought these little clasps to to just keep it extra secure that way I can get it easily on and off Alrighty, so now that you have your waistband and it fits how you want. So I want it to sit right around here. Actually fits perfectly. Um, now this is where things get, I don't want to say confusing, but it gets a little bit more um, detailed. So I'll insert the reference picture I'm using here and uh, the link will be down in the description box below. But um, as you can see, there are, also, there are several strands of fabric. So for those strands, you can either get fabric and cut strips and then hem it. But that's personally way too much time for me. I'm way too lazy for that. So I just went out and bought, I don't know if you guys can see it here. I wouldn't say ribbon, shiny ribbon, it's actually quite thick and durable. You want to get something quite thick and durable because this is going to be hoop holding up the piping and if you get something super thin it's gonna fray or it's gonna snap and that's the last thing you want. So I got this long ribbon. So basically you want this ribbon to be attached underneath of your waist and you want it to go all the way down to the floor so you have to find out those measurements. I'm pretty tall so I need more ribbon. Also keep in mind that you need to include extra ribbon, like extra length on the ribbon for the loops themselves. You're going to be creating little loops, loops to slide the piping through. Alrighty, so as I was editing this, I realized I was making no sense, so voiceover time. Woo woo! Basically, all I'm explaining here is I cut all eight of my ribbons to my desired length. This is of course going to be different depending on how tall you are. So let's say from my hips down to the floor, I measured 40 inches of ribbon. I would then add another 8 inches or so 
so I had room to make the loops which I would later be sliding the piping through. So this is going to be different for everyone depending on how tall you are. I hope this made sense. And all I'm doing here is taking the ribbon that I have cut and placing it on the waistband where I want it to be. Um, it really helps if you stand in front of a full body mirror and do this. I sort of just kind of eyeballed it and kind of hope for the best like I do with everything when I making cosplay and sometimes it doesn't work out very well as I have learned. Okay, so all of the strips are sewn in properly. Um, basically all I did is, oops, hold on, you guys are going out of focus. There you go. So um, this is what it looks like from the outside. Um, I just, you just see a slight stitching and on the inside I stitched all around for to make sure it's extra secure on every single one of them. So yeah, now all eight ribbons are secured to the waistband. So it should look something like this, kind of like you're an octopus or a jellyfish because there's nothing on the ends right now and I haven't included any of the loops. But they're all secured and sewn in. So I'm going to leave it at this for tonight because I have to go ahead and cut the piping another day. So yeah. Hey guys, so I went ahead and did a few, uh, just two loops actually, just to test them out before I told you guys what to do in case it didn't work. So if I didn't tell you before, what I'm using for the actual hoops themselves is something called, I think it's PVC piping. I'll insert a picture here, basically it looks like this, it's just plastic, um, hollow piping. And as you can see too, it's fairly small and it's a bit hard to bend but with a lot of tape, it keeps it in place. So don't sweat it, as long as you're not making really small circles. If you're making really small circles, then this is not for you, it's way too stiff. And the great thing about that piping is because it's not extremely um, industrial, I wanna say, it's not metal, you don't have to have a skill saw or anything to cut it. I'm simply using these heavy duty, I don't know, what are they, like cutters. <laughs> my dad gave them to me to borrow and the great thing is with these is you can use them at like 1 a.m. in the morning and no one will hear anything because there's no like legit saw in your room. So basically what I've done so far is I've sewn loops equal length all around, hoop to the desire of what I wanted and I slid it through and I taped it as you can see here see right here to hold it in place but what I've discovered is that I was at first just going along and making hoops as I went along and trying it to make sure but it's becoming a lot more difficult to sew as I'm holding these plastic things that are quite or that are not heavy but I mean they're a bit like in the way as I'm trying to sew more of the loops as you can see so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish all of the loops on the ribbons and then do the piping at the end. Oh, I forgot to mention too, is that I haven't secured all of them in place. As you can tell, these ones are still sliding around. But when I figured out certain areas of like anchor points, um, I suggest using hot glue if you have it, but I don't have any. So I just use basically Gorilla Super Glue and I secured some of them, for example, this one, into place where I know I wanted it and I looked in the mirror and I was like okay this one over here this one over here it's kind of all balanced out because if you all have them on one side obviously it's going to be like floppy like this or it's all going to be tilted to one side and that is not what you want.
Use all of your mighty force to cut those pipes. No, but seriously, if you do it this way, you're gonna need a lot of arm strength. Guys, so I am almost done. I have all the hoops in place. I actually had room for one extra one at the bottom here, but if I add another one, it's going to be almost dragging on the floor and I don't want it to get wrecked throughout the convention. Um, so yeah, now that I have all my hoops in place, I'm going to glue down at least the majority of the ribbon so they're not sliding around and creating them all lopsided. Alright guys, so at this point you should have your ribbons glued in place for the most part and you should have a fully functioning corset. So this is for a, it is, I don't know, a bell shaped, kind of looking A shaped hoop skirt. It's for a hoop skirt. You can basically change the shapes up depending on how big your hoop rings are at what positions you make them. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, of course, over this, I'm going to be wearing a, um, a, um, a just a plain white skirt. And then on top of that, I'll be wearing lots of petty because if you wear it just on its own, you'll see the plastic hooping through your dress or skirt or whatever you're using this for. So I need to go and make a um, white underskirt and then lots of petty and then the actual skirt itself sorry if i was kind of bad at explaining things at times hopefully you got everything also this hoop skirt is probably if you want it to be a really accurate historical costume it may not be for you i'm using this for cosplay purposes so no one is going to see the tape or look under the skirt and be like hmm this isn't what they used in the olden days because I'm pretty sure they did not have piping like this in the olden days. Um, yeah, or I don't know, did they have duct tape in the olden days? They might have, who knows? So yeah, um, I'm sorry if you came here looking for a more historical version of a hoop skirt. I'm using this for cosplay. Anyway, goodbye! Hello you little beans! So today I'm going to be showing you how I made this hoop skirt for this petticoat. Um, it may look a little time... <laughs> and here I'm just taking the finished cut ribbon and placing them on the waistband where I want it. I kind of just stood in front of a full bodied mirrored... <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot speak today. Thank you so much for watching. Aaron and I will see you next time. Bye bye